what's up y'all welcome back to another freaking video today i am taking y'all with me to work of course as y'all seen by the title um first of all let me just say this this is my first freaking voiceover let me not start that freaking because then i'm gonna keep saying it the whole video but this is my first voiceover so please be patient with me because this is something new i don't even know how i'm gonna put this all together but here we are at work just walked in as you can see this is the little clock-in station right here from the from the side that i come in on this is the clock-in station so as you will see right here this is our little checklist okay so first thing we're gonna do is clock in baby gotta get this money okay so we clock in you know and then we proceed to walk to um what is it called um our floor we walk to our floor so it take about like five minutes if i'm not rushing to walk to the floor you know got a bad access to get in and everything so i try to come into work probably about 6 6 no later than probably like 6 40 because um you know, got to get report, get report, get report around 6.45 to relieve the other people who go going home. And if you don't know, I work in the medical ICU, as you see right here. I work night shift. So, um, this is me coming into my floor. And so, next thing on the checklist we have to do is get report. That's the first thing. Get report so they can go home. So after I got report, you see sun's about to go down. It's about to be nighttime. Next thing I like to do on the checklist is prepare for work. So I prepare for work by getting my voice Sarah. Not too many charges are up here. But um, I guess I'll take this one. Put it in my voice Sarah. Mm -hmm. This is me getting into my voice Sarah. Let her load. And then once she gets connected, we will see. And give it a second. Has my name on the back. Okay. I'm logged out. Please press the call button to log in. Let me take my mask off so she can hear me. Good morning. Please say or spell your first and last name. Chiari Daniels. I'm logging you in as Chiari Daniels. Oop. Urgent message. Hold on. So. I know the disclaimer I want to add while I talk over her because she just got a message. That's all. She had a message for me while I wasn't on the voice error. But another thing I like to add is these videos, just in advance to let y'all know, are from different days, different weeks. Because every day and every week of work is not the same. So I try to add everything that my typical work day or work week would okay. be into okay. like okay. one video so now, if you see me looking different on different days these are different videos on different days of the week different diff it's, a, it's different so yeah just letting y'all know that but next on the ducket no just kidding y'all if y'all watch zoe y'all know but next on the checklist we about to do these blood sugars these temps and refresh the boards so main thing i do like i'm doing now is when I get started on the, on the start of the shift, we um, refresh the board because the last nurse and the nurses or the techs are leaving. This board is already cleaned off because this is an empty room. Um, I try to like go around so much stuff to get the video for y'all because I didn't want to be giving out patient information or y'all seeing things, you know, HIPAA policy and stuff like that. So I try to go around this. And don't look at my butt, y'all. I was on my period this day. <laughs> and that's, look, that's all I need to say. But um, yeah, so we refresh the boards. The main thing I do on my floor is blood sugars and temps and, you know, helping out, blah, blah, blah. 
but this is me refreshing the board I'm about to bring y'all up closer so y'all can really see okay so at the top you got your date um you know so they can know the room number I just put stuff up there you write the nurse so let's say the nurse today is Hannah Montana so let's get it right Montana cause that's the nurse that's the last name then the tech obviously would be me so I'll write my name up there excuse my handwriting don't talk about me talk because I'm talking about your mama no I'm just kidding but um yeah obviously I'm the tech for the night uh, let's say the respiratory therapist is Justin Bieber so we go right Bieber up there okay and then the charge nurse uh, we gonna say it's Jim. Oh, I often say Jim Jones. <laughs> we gonna say it's Mike Jones in this mug. So, yeah, that's how that would go. But you know, we just put the last name. So Jones, Mike Jones, aka Jones. Now you'll put the room number. Well, the number to the floor, and then you'll put our in for the nurse if you if you want. Then the room number for the floor in case they need to call the charge desk or something like that. And so the notes is over here where I put the blood sugars and where I put the temps. Some people don't have temps. They have a temp probe, so I just write temp probe. Okay, sorry, y'all. I had got a call in the middle of this um, voiceover. But like I said, some people don't have a temp, um, temp probe, but most of my blood sugars are Q4, which would be 8, 12, and 4, which is 20, 0, 0, 4. Is that what I was going to say? I don't know. But so I mostly do blood sugars Q4. That's the main thing I do. But everyone doesn't have a Q4 blood sugar. Some people will have like a different blood sugar that is maybe 12 and 6, meaning that they're Q6. Or um, they have another blood sugar. It's different. Um, see, this one will be 12 and something else. Like it's just different. But most of them I do is Q4. So that's what I'll write up here. And then maybe their blood sugar after I check, I put the number. Some people's blood sugars are ISTAT, meaning that the nurse will have to check that blood sugar. So I just put ISTAT on the board, meaning I don't do it. And if they don't have a, if I don't get their temperature, I just put temp probe. And this is what, if, this is what else is on the board. So yeah. I don't really write the goals for today. Um, I don't typically do that. The nurse does that or anything, but this is just an example. I had time today, so this is what you're gonna get. Okay, so like I said, I typically refresh the board and then after that, I prepare to do my um, blood sugars and temps. So I have my temp probe in the back pocket. I keep it back there because I like to keep it on me so I won't forget it when I go in the room. I don't try to take the whole rolling thing in the room. So I just keep it in my back pocket. And um, I want to give me one of those little like nurse fanny pack things. Maybe I can start keeping it in there and keep my stuff in there when I go in the room. But I ain't got that yet, so it's in my back pocket. And then I just go in and take um, the glucometer, the uh, lances, and the strips. And then have the temp probe in my back pocket. Oh, and I take a um, alcohol swab and a little um, motor car. So this is me getting the lancets, putting them in, putting them in a bucket. So I can go in and um, get my stuff together. And I'm getting this stuff out of this little drawer stuff. This drawer. Then I get these little, what are these called? Like gauzes or whatever. I forgot what they're called. And then the alcohol um, pads. I tear those up and stuff like that. Get ready to go into the room. And there goes my glucometer right there. And so let me show y'all the little drawers I was talking about. Well, hold on. Look, I'm moving too fast. So my glucometer... Like I said, I look different on different days, y'all. So this is a different day I'm trying to get for y'all. You see me with my stoggles on, baby. Get into it. I'll leave the link. So stoggles, if y'all don't know what these are, there's like eye protection wear. Glasses mixed with goggles. And you can wear your glasses under the stoggles. They still fit. So, um, yeah. So I won't have to wear like a um, face shield or something like that all the time. So I'm preparing... <laughs> Um, pulling apart my little um, alcohol swabs and getting my gauzes and stuff ready and um, these are the drawers I was talking about see I was moving too fast I gotta put the code in there this is about to die so um, this is what is in the drawer today it's typically not always messy like that it don't always look like that but 
that is what's in the boards today. My little lances and expo markers to like update the board. And then up there, I have my little sheet of patience list and everything like that. Next on the checklist, we go chart because we done did the blood sugars already. So let me stop screaming because we're not doing all that. Here. Um, so this is after I did all my blood sugars, and I'll probably have about 24 patients on a busy day. So me stretching. Um, on my clipboard, I have everything that I wrote down, such as the temperatures. I don't have the chart, the um, the blood sugar. I just write the blood sugar on the board, and then it charts itself once I press enter on the glucometer. But I do chart the temperatures and stuff of that sort. And so that is what I'm doing now. And yeah, I look like a hot mess, but whatever. Also, to add to that, I do like to go to Starbucks and get me some water or get me some ice water or something like that. Just feel a little bougie while I'm at work. Sip on my water. I obviously forgot my uh, water jug today. But next on the checklist, we run errands, help clean patients, and stuff like that after we do blood sugars. Right now, you see we got the wipes right here. And this is right here is the wipe warmer. So I like to go ahead and stock this up because it'll by the time they start trying to put um, clean patients, they'll already be warm. So I'll go ahead and stock those up in the beginning of the shift. So like I was saying with the numbers, and y'all probably like what you're doing in numbers for girl. I was saying that two of the purple wipes go in, and those are like just regular wipes. I try not to overfill it, so two of those go in, and then three of the chlorhexidine wipes, which is the orange ones, go in the other one. So three of those in the wipe warmer, and then chlorhexidine wipes, three chlorhexidine wipes, and two purple wipes, which are the regular wipes. I'm stuttering. This voiceover is already turned out bad. Red light means heating, and then green light means it's already heated and it's ready to use. So here they are, and I'm about to do them five four three two one boom they done baby look i'm trying to get into these tiktok transitions on y'all but um uh, yeah it's a new day it's a new dawn no i'm going to pick up three stylets for sterile processing be right back so yeah like i was saying i'm gonna go to sterile processing to pick up three stylets so y'all about to come with me to pick up these stylets and sterile processing is just where I pick up like um, things that are sterile and I already been clean and sterile. And then sometimes I go to sterile processing to drop off things that need to be cleaned and sterilized. Maybe someone was getting, um, I don't know the word. I'll think about it. But this is me walking to, oh, maybe someone's getting intubated. So. I have to take that equipment and things like that to sterile processing to get cleaned and then later I guess maybe another shift not the same shift I'll come back to sterile processing to pick it up so right here is sterile processing this is what it looks like inside on the pickup side I picked up the three salads this one is like different but those two are the same Next, I will do blood sugars and temps again. So, this is probably around 12 o'clock. But right here, we had a code, not a code, because the patient was DNR. But this is to show y'all life be real. So, going to the morgue. Call security. Hey, I'm coming down to the morgue to get a gurney. Okay, I'll shut someone down to meet you. Okay, thank you so much. Going down. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> this is the view room where they keep the gurneys and stuff. Y'all, I'm coming from the morgue. 
work to pick up the journey. Open all that in. This is where we put the dead bodies in. Like, the patient goes on like this one. Oh, I didn't even touch them. They go on this long thing. We put the top stuff on. And take them back down to the morgue. <laughs> Looks like that is so long. Okay, blood and stuff in the back from a code. Doors opening. Checklist. I like to stock, and then in the middle of stocking, I end up doing more cleans. So right now, what I'm doing is is stocking this cart. I'm in the supply room. This is the supply room. And like, I'm stocking this cart so I can go out there and stock the other cart. So this is the big cart to stock. These are the other carts. So it's like these on the halls for like the nurses to get easy access for like blunt needles alcohol swabs and stuff like that so see this one is stock but this one stays in here but um basically yeah this is stock pretty much but basically i stock this one like see this is empty and then stock the ones on the hall so i put this whole thing from this out to the hall and you know so, this one needs some things on here. Now, let me see where those are. Let me pull this. And get some freaking Kira caps. They're called Kira's, right? Do they call Kira's? I think. Okay, let me find it. I can see it. So I'm about to go and like talk some things. I put like a few gloves right there. I put some regular size N95 and some small and some um PPE gowns or whatever gowns. I don't like these gowns anyway. But um, I'm about to go and stock those. This is the other um, supply room full of like masks, um, trash bags and stuff like that that goes in front of the COVID patient rooms. So, yeah. I'm now this is me it again. Is spinal, spinal needle. It's literally the longest needle I've ever seen. Like, I've never seen a needle this freaking long. Not even focusing. It's longer than my thumb. Yeah. That is crazy to me. Let me throw it away. Dispose of it properly. All right, next on the checklist, we doing our last blood sugars and temps of the night. Unless it's Q6. Right here, I was showing y'all these masks. Be messing up my face. I have seboric dermatitis. Sometimes on a slight side, psoriasis. And it's in my hair and on my skin. It's clear now. If y'all want to see a video on how I cleared it, y'all can request that. But it was so bad this day. And this was like maybe December, January-ish. But here I am looking cute still. So play with your mama. Right now, I'm going to go pick up blood. So I just picked up blood and plasma right here. Period. And look at my little badge reel. Like, look at, you know, I love the Grinch. Y'all know I love the Grinch. But yeah. Y'all know with the whole appeal process and stuff that I'm going through, I'm ready to get back in school. I'm ready to start studying again for real. Like, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No, I'm beginning to look a lot like a dropout. Like, <sighs> I'm gonna go back in, get this day over. I just wanted to tell y'all nothing. But so yeah. boom, this is a video of a nurse trying to catch her little nap on break, y'all. We be tired. Tired for real. 
and then you know i was just talking about the appeal process i do have an update video coming up next y'all here's another picture of me and then this is me walking to the blood bank the core lab not walking to it i'm walking to the core lab to show y'all me dropping off something and this is a stool specimen that i'm taking down so um yeah and then once I go down there, I also try to pick up some strips and lancets before I come back up, especially for the next shift, because we run out of these a lot, especially like doing so many blood sugar checks and stuff like that. So we be needing those. I try to keep them stocked. Now I am going to drop off some more labs and stuff to the core lab. And we do have a um, little thing you could send them through, but ours is not working. I'm so tired and over it. I've been plucking this eyelash like a chicken. But the That's worst hard. pain to have at work, not your period, not a headache, but a toothache, y'all, oh my God. Like, I'm ready to go home and go to sleep. I am, but. Two hours left, so I got it. So closer to the end of shift, we like to take out the trash. This is the little vacutainer thing that I was talking about. I don't know what it's called. A little thing that we send our labs in, but it was down for that one hour, so I had to manually go take it. But it's like basically you just put them in there, close them up, and you put them in a little shoot thingy thing. I don't know what it's called. I can't think of it right now doing this video. And then it just shoots up once you press the button on the touch screen it shoots up and sends the lab through like a tube like you at the bank or something like technology baby get into it but um that's so you won't have to walk down all the time to send labs so we just send labs through the little thing and i cannot think about what it's called right now so the tube station is what i know but it's another word anyways Hear me going again. There's the blood bank. There's the core lab again. And so over there is the um, microbiology. And then this is sterile processing again where I just picked up some sterile stuff. But obviously I forgot something. Now I have to pick up something else again from sterile processing. So let's call them down. And then now I'm on the other side about to drop off something to sterile processing. So I'm getting on the elevator again. This could have all been done in one run, but people send things at different times. So I'm back on the elevator again, about to go down to sterile processing, but the dirty side, not the clean side, to drop off something that needs to be cleaned. I was talking to y'all, but I was saying that they have a drop off and pick up side, and now I'm going to the drop off side to drop off the dirty stuff. Um, I didn't know I was going to do this voiceover, so I was really up here talking to y'all, explaining things. But we just go cut that out, and yeah, so this is the dirty side. You have to call them to unlock the door, so you have to push the bell three times, then pick up the phone. It's a lot because I don't have a badge access to go into the dirty side. Sometimes some people do, but I don't. So that's inside of the dirty side of the process. I didn't have time to show y'all in there. This is the end of shift. So now we're going to QC all these glucometers. And so this is me QCing the glucometers, which is basically getting them ready for the next shift so they won't be dead and not working when it's time to. Um, what was I finna say? Oh, when it's time for the next shift to use it, because that is so annoying. 
So we have to do um, the one and the two. So we have to do one control test, and then we have to do another control test with the two. So this is me um, QCing the glucometers. As you can see, like I said, it's close to the end of shift. It is saying it's 422 right now in the morning, 422 a.m. So I like to get these done right after I do blood sugars. My last blood sugars are normally, I finish probably between 430 and, no later than 430. But I finished quicker this time because this day I guess I didn't have that many patients. So make sure they all pass, and then we gotta do the control test for the next one, which is level two. And I think we have to QC glucometers every, is it 12 hours? No, every 20 hours. 20, 20 hours. I forgot, I'm really tired right now, y'all. I'm just trying to get this voiceover for this video done and show y'all what is up. So boom, they both passed. So that means they're both QC and we're done. Now we're just waiting up for the other shift to come because we done did everything. And you see the sun is rising. It's beautiful out here. And I just sit here and wait for the next shift. Make sure I done everything. Got everything ready for the next shift. And boom, just like that. It's probably 6.45 in the morning. Now we give report to the next shift. I come at 6.45, they come at 6.45. So if they're not late, I'm not late. If I'm not late, they're not late because they waiting on me to get report to go home. And so vice versa. So this is me leaving to go home, y'all. 12-hour shift is over. We finally made it. We did it. It's more behind the scenes that go into work and things like that. But this is all I can really show y'all. I couldn't really show y'all me doing the blood sugar on a patient. I really couldn't show y'all like some of the nitty gritty of the things that we do 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 but um this voiceover is probably trash as well but anywho this is my 12 hour shift um in a medical icu i do work on other floors but this is the my main floor if y'all want to see other floors i work on like cardiovascular and stuff let me know in the comments I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I love you so much. Thanks for liking and subscribing and everything y'all been doing. Oh my gosh, yes. But anyway, see y'all in the next one if you made it to the end of this video.